a mother of a soldier who was killed in the Helmand province said it was an insult that former Prime Minister Tony Blair has received a knighthood in an emotional call. Sarah Adams rang into Jeremy Vine on 5 to tell the show that she felt betrayed and sickened by the news of Tony Blair's knighthood as her son, James Prosser, was killed in Helmand province in September 2009. Ms. Adams said it was an insult to families across the country who have lost family members fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. Host Jeremy Vine challenged her and said the danger was already there with one of Blair's closest aides, John McTurnan, saying the deaths should be blamed on Saddam Hussein. Speaking on Jeremy Vine on 5, Mr. Vine spoke with Ms. Adams about Sir Tony's knighthood but the mother was upset over the news. She told the program, Betrayed, sickened, is all I can say, it's another insult to all of those lives that have been lost in this country, Iraq and Afghanistan. All of the servicemen and women coming back with life-changing injuries they now have to live with because of the lies of this man. Andrew Pierce summed it up absolutely perfectly, if he had a semblance of conscience, he would decline it knowing the backlash towards him receiving it and the contempt for him. Mr. Vine put to Ms. Adams that the terrorists were in the region before Sir Tony took office and could not be blamed for the deaths. She replied, We also know that they overplayed all of the evidence of what Saddam Hussein had, that was clear in the Chilcot inquiry. So I disagree with that completely. Mr. McTurnan responded by saying all political leaders deeply regret soldier deaths and that Sir Tony was no different. He added everyone in Europe had the same intelligence of what was going on in the Middle East but chose to act depending on what they felt was right. The Most Noble Order of the Garter is awarded solely at the monarch's discretion whereas other knighthoods are often discussed on committees and presented to the Queen. Only the monarch, the Prince of Wales and no more than 24 living members are allowed to be members. Over the weekend, Sir Tony and Baroness Valerie Amos were given the award and joined Sir John Major and others who have the honor.